Uh, nice crowd for the parade this morning. <laughs> Here's Bill Renault. Roger, good to see you. va bien. You guys ready? Okay. On se regarde, là. Okay. Salut Ben, comment ça va? Ça va très bien. <laughs> T'as-tu un bon temps? And may our service always be true, our commitment to each other strong, and our journeys wherever they take us safe. They are courageous in the attack. They are, in fact, men apart. Every man an emperor. I want to say I am never prouder than when I wear the room ring. My ties with you, all of you, many of them close and personal, and I'm sure a few who have an axe to grind. And to our fallen comrades, is one of immense pride and privilege of belonging to the Canadian Airborne Regiment. We gather today, both in commemoration and in celebration. In commemoration, we honor jumpers that have gone before us. As airborne veterans, we make no distinction between airborne lives lost, whether they be in war, peacekeeping, peacemaking, training for them, or recovering from them in transition to civilian life. We include our lost regimental buddies who are not here with us today, who have succumbed in some manner to either accident, illness, or old age and just timed up. Canada's Airborne Legacy, 1942 to 2018, in total 76 years of airborne history that we all proudly share some part in, including today. We salute our senior veterans of 110 Para, Lou Lamy, and Walt Romanoff. Our new jumpers, yes, let's hear it for them. Send that applause to Private Gustafson, 3 PBCLI, our newest and youngest jumper on parade today. <laughs> we parade in celebration also a span of seven decades that we at this union, at this reunion cover. We recognize DDA and the Arnhem operations as our beginnings and the standard set for airborne units that still stands today. Here we are, a mix of jumpers spanning seven decades, from a diverse number of airborne organizations, but bonded by being airborne. Having looked the jump master in the eye and executed, and exited the aircraft on his path. In that span of seven decades, the parachute went from T-7 prototype to T-7 to T-10 to CT-1 and MC-1-1. We went from round to square canopy and from non-steerable to steerable. Drop altitudes went from balloon heights to halo and freefall techniques. It went from silk to ripstop nylon and anti-inversion nets toggles, navigation aids, and oxygen equipment. The aircraft went from C-47 Dakotas to C-119 boxcars to C-130 to C-141 Starlifter and all manner of helicopters. We went from jump doors to ramps. And as I recall, opening loads over the period did not change much and a bad exit could spoil your day. 
There is definitely no rank under the canopy. Through all this change, airborne soldiers have, through good times and bad, banded together. The regular force units that we belong to came and went over the period. And in celebration, as we pray today, the champions of preserving and commemorating our airborne heritage deserve to be mentioned and named. And they are First Camp Fair Association, First Special Service Force Association, ARAC, CAFA, Branch 8, Born West, Edmonton Airborne Social Club, and the Canadian Airborne Regiment. CAR stands as the longest serving part of the Canadian Army Orbat, delivering airborne capabilities for 27 years. It should not have been disbanded. Airborne capability has and will survive because it is unique. The elusive need to conquer fear remains, and there's nothing other than combat itself that delivers it like being airborne. As our numbers dwindle within our individual associations, we need to fully embrace the serving soldiers of today in special forces, in our infantry regiments, and all those in airborne roles. We are not, we are all here from all over Canada today, not because of what we did, not because where we did it, and not because how we did it, but we are here to be with who we did it with. The exclusive right to this distinguished history belongs to all of us, and to preserve it, we need to share and combine our efforts. Have a good one. Airborne. Airborne. Airborne.